had some uh, horror war flashbacks for myself personally. Mm-hmm. I had things would come back and I go, go! Oh! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like Homer Simpson. What's up, you guys? If you're listening to this, then we know you know how to have a good time. And we're here to give the perfect drink to level up any occasion. That's right. We're talking pirate water, baby. Pirate water. But we have something so special. So special. I don't think like we we didn't really like tell people, tell people. Yeah. The new flavor of pirate water is here. And it's, I'm, I'm just going to say it's the best fucking one. It's the best one. Wicked tea. Wicked tea. One more time for the kids at home. Wicked tea. Not kids. Everyone. Over the age of 21, 21. Yeah. wicked tea. Just a kid at heart. But it's um, it's carbon. It's not carbonated. Not carbonated, carbonated, which I personally love. Mm-hmm. So it's easier to drink and it's still 10% and it's still a tall boy. Mm-hmm. And Ready it, to go in a can. It's just a wicked tea. A wicked tea under $2. Yep. And All now, right. so now we have five flavors. But if you haven't tried wicked tea yet, get out there and fucking get it. Where can they get it, G? You can go to drinkpiratewater.com to find a pirate water location near you. Or you can get it on GoPuff, Circle K, or Walmart. And follow and tag Pirate Water in your post for a chance to be reposted. Let's get into the show, Brianna. What's up? Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Jesus Guys, Christ. I'm so Let me st- take I want this. to apologize first. <laughs> I lost my voice. And yesterday it was really, really bad. Mm-hmm. But it's not even like a sexy. I, lo- I My voice is raspy and like I'm so sexy. I just sound like Quagmire. Yeah. Yeah. I sound like I'm a CP. <laughs> like <a> Quagmire. <laughs> no, he's just. You should already yesterday, guys. Oh my god, but Grace is a cunt. I'm trying to talk and she's like, Pardon speak me. up. Speak up. I'm like, I lost my I voice. I literally couldn't fucking hear you. Okay, so then stop talking to me. No, you you stop talking to me. But you, you stop talking to me if I can't hear you. If you can't hear me, no, then you stop were, asking me questions. You were just making you were just uh, talking. Oh, you were just out talking. of nowhere. I was just talking. Oh, talk, talk. You, you were talk. talking out of nowhere and I'd say, What? And you go, No, I was trying and do you know how hard I was trying to I was speaking so loud it hurt so bad. You didn't even bother to look my direction. Um, yes, I did McFuck face. Oh, yeah. That's what she called me. She handed me my fucking McDonald's cheeseburger and said, here no, you go. Mc- McChicken. Oh, God forbid. Because that's why I said it. McFuck face. <laughs> and then she said, oh, my God, please don't fucking call me that. That reminds me of middle school. Yeah. So McFat like, fuck is what I was called. <laughs> well, I called you McFuck face. Yeah, it's awful. <laughs> I didn't like it at all. McFuck face is crazy. We absolutely had a crazy. Um, we got snowed in this weekend. Yeah, we did. It felt like an absolute snow day. Yeah, we had a couple snow days where do we even begin uh we'll start at uh oh i went to a, a movie premiere on you tuesday did with jake gyllenhaal with jake gyllenhaal and conor mcgregor and um it was super sick i brought my our buddy sid and mm. uh we got to walk the red carpet where i realized that my rogers were out can we insert the picture of her rogers out yeah it uh, looks like she has absolutely no fucking shoes on. Yeah, my, my two watches were out. It was <laughs> tough. Um, but other than that, it looked gorgeous. Uh, everybody wanted to be me. Um, what? Yeah, I don't know. The fuck was that? I don't know. Oh, God. Anyways, you, um, you no, the big problem. What? I said you guys have created a monster. Who? Everyone. I'm not a monster. Her Rogers are out. My Rogers are out. That's That's step one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Step two, grow grow and back hair. You got a picture with um your baby. Well, let me get to it. Yeah, I am. For Christ's sakes. Um, so I made it everyone's problem that I needed a picture with Conor McGregor. Um, to the point where you've talked about on the pod how much you love him, right? Yeah, just, I think so. I just want everyone to know this is her number one. He's guy. pretty much my number one guy. Yeah. yeah, like I and I seriously, I never take pictures with uh, celebrities. I never ask them. Just let them friggin' live their goddamn night away. This was your. Remember, I had to ask Aub- Audrey Plaza. Mm-hmm. It's Audrey, right? Aubrey. Aubrey. Audrey, I think. Aubrey. Aubrey. I always get it wrong. Aubrey. Aubrey. That's a good way to remember. Yeah. So it was like, you need to ask him. I really needed to ask him. So I I really made it everyone's problem. I'm walking around the whole party. I tried to go up. His security said, not right now. I said, dude, what the heck? So I <laughs> went back and I grabbed a pretty girl and I made her come with me and then they let us through. Um terrible but you're the pretty girl right i know i thought i was well maybe you just needed two pretty girls two pretty girls two bad bitches going side by side Mm -hmm. so anyways um i go up to him i go to take a picture i could tell he's uh kind of sick of taking pictures for the night but um was this towards the end of the night it was just towards the end of the night and then but i made it i made it everyone's problem to the point where yeah I think like like a legitimate number nine people came up to me at the party and said, "I'm so glad you got that picture. It seemed like you really needed that for yourself." You did, and um, and I got it. But um, you know, gorgeous girls in it. And it's taken from a tough angle, so I thought, you looked, I thought you looked pretty good in it. Uh, it's not my favorite. You could just crop it face up and crop her out. Sorry, hot girl. Oh, sorry, hot girl. 
You're so hot, but like it's supposed to be Grace's picture. Everyone thought it was she wasn't going to get in it. Yeah, she promised. (laughs) She said, "I'm going to go help you get this picture." And then she got in it. Um, well, Roan was also at the Jake Jill. What was the name of this movie? Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Roadhouse yes. premiere. And Roan was there, who we work with. And he went on his podcast and said, we, this is why we want to fact check it. Yeah. We don't know. He's a jokester. Yeah. But he was very matter of fact about it. It sounded very serious. And he doubled down and told the story twice. He told the story twice. He said that he went into the bathroom like with an hour into the movie. And he saw Jake Gyllenhaal dump sack on a little notebook and just... <laughs> All the way up, didn't even put it in a line, just dump sack, face sack. <laughs> then made eye contact with Roan in the mirror and said, um, you can tell whoever you want, nobody's going to believe you. Didn't wash his hands and walked out. If that's real, that's incredible. That is, I mean, I mean, I kind of could see that being real. Yeah. Of all the stories you hear about Jake Gyllenhaal and like how he's like kind of um, a monster on set and stuff. Mm-hmm. I could totally see that. <laughs> I really hope that was real. I don't even, I almost don't want to fact check with Roan. I just want to believe it's real. Yeah, let's just believe it. Let's just believe it. And right? if he calls back, he calls back. Believe everything thing you see believe Roan mm-hmm. oh my god speaking of believe everything you see how bad do you feel about tell I, t- I really thought Kate Middleton was um a clone <laughs> No, I feel so bad. She literally just has cancer and wants privacy. And everyone made a conspiracy that she has a clone. And I am part of the problem. <laughs> I mean, we're definitely part of the problem. Like, I was in on this. Like, you could have put a gun to my head and been like, you have to pick the right choice. Is Kate Middleton alive or is this her clone? I would have said, it's her clone. <laughs> and I would have thought I was right. And she just has cancer. She just has cancer. And that was tough. Um, uh, do I feel you- terrible? I don't feel terrible. Speculation. I was speculating. Yeah, I feel terrible. Like, <laughs> so terrible. I And I want to apologize to just Kate Middleton. I don't give a fuck about that royal family, but damn, like, she's going through a lot. And yeah. I was just like, yeah, she's cloned. Look, this lady has different teeth, this different hairline. Shut up, you dumb bitch. Like, everyone on the internet really, really believed it. Dude, well, that was the thing, though, also. If you talked about the royals, it was like the, the super glitching to going mega viral. Uh Anyone who talked about it went viral. Yeah, we had a clip go viral. We had a clip go viral. The the clip I made uh, saying oops went viral. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the secret sauce. Damn, so just use use the... Use for views. That's literally why people would ever want to date me. Use for views. Use for views. Use for views. Use for views. We also, you want to know what we viewed a lot of this? Oh, do you have any more, sorry, from your premiere? Um, just about... Just that's just about it. Except um, we were gonna go back to the club mm-hmm. on a Tuesday. Club going up on a Tuesday, mm-hmm. and everyone decided against it. And then Connor was at the freaking club we were gonna oh. go to, and I was like, "Gosh darn it!" Do you, Do you think you would have slid into a section? No, I would leave him alone. I would just like to look at him for more, for okay, more time. Okay. <laughs> this is like one of your biggest crushes ever. Yeah, but he has a wife. No, I know, but I'm, I'm not. That's not what I'm about to say. Mm. When you see him in person, does he live up to the expectations? To an extent. He, what does that mean? It's me being kind. Oh, so you, he didn't live up to it? Not particularly. Was he super short? <laughs> yeah. Wicked short? <laughs> he was just short but stacked. <laughs> <laughs> stacked with muscles or cash? Stacked with both, Brianna. Oh my, did he have gold chains on? Oh, you know, he had an electric tux on and he looks great. Okay, so he looks good. He looks great. You just wish he was a little teensy bit taller. I don't mind about a shorty. You don't mind about a shorty? <laughs> nope. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter. He's married. But yeah. No. I was just. I just wanted to know if you lived up to your expectations. No, it's good. Everything's good. Because I just really want to see Paul Mescal or Leah Woodall, Woodall in person. Yeah. I mean, Paul, I Paul's my family. guy. He's the best. I love and then him you got so the Leo much. guy. Well, yeah, I like Paul too. But um, I just really want to. See, I wonder if they're tiny short. I feel like all actors are tiny short. Not tiny short. You don't think so? Nope. I just want to see what they look like in person. So. I mean, they've got it going on those two. Oh, they do. I do believe so. Got good style. And we know about um, uh, help, help me, help. What's what? his name? Um, who are we thinking about? Oh, Jacob Elordi. Yes. Yeah, he's so tall. He is so help. tall. <laughs> I I moved past him. Oh, good, 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 good. I don't have a big crush anymore. Oh, that's I think good. I think. See, this is where I'm like on the Kate Middleton thing. If something's just thrown in your face. I like it. Mm. Like, Jacob Elordi was <laughs> all over everywhere. Kate Middleton's, I'm like, yeah, it's thrown in my face. So, oh my God, I'm obsessed with Jacob Elordi. Now I don't see shit from him. Mm-hmm. On to the next. On to the next. I have a new crush. And it's yeah. Leo Rowell. Well, yeah, that's my new, like, guy. I think he's the next Leonardo DiCaprio. I said that about <laughs> uh, Jacob Elordi, but then I watched one day, and he's, he's new, actually incredible, so. It's a new white boy every month. Uh, Yeah. White well, boy of the month. Yeah. Fuck you, Jacob Elordi. Did he claim his bitch yet? 
I don't I don't believe so. Ooh, I don't okay. keep up with a lordy because he's not thrown in my face. You're right. Exactly, right? Yeah. Kind of weird. Because we were we were like obsessed. Yeah. During Saltburn and all the times. And all those times. <laughs> um another thing that we couldn't stop viewing, what? viewing party, Love is Blind. Oh yeah. We were real late to the game, but we watched it all. Now we can talk about it because if you haven't watched it yet, like spoilers. Yes. It's all out already. Yeah. But um fucking we watched the whole season in one day mm-hmm. when we had our rot. Mm-hmm. And uh, is That's it, what we kept calling it a snow day. That was our snow day. Yeah. It was beautiful out. It was nice. Um, <laughs> it was really nice. But we watched all of Love is Blind and I just couldn't, I guess I never watched it before. And I didn't realize how much of an insane concept it is that you have to go on this show and talk behind a wall and then get married right when you see each other. Mm-hmm. Um, I, di- I did say, that when I first saw it, the first season, mm-hmm. I was like, this, these people are out of their goddamn minds. This is crazy. Why would you ever do this? Four years later, um, things aren't looking great for old G. So I wouldn't mind going on that show. Uh, personally, I think it's, uh, it's the last bet. You think so? It's the last bet. It's two four K, and any of those. Oh my god, it's four K as fuck. Yeah, you can see everything in that show. I do not want to be on that show. I do not want to be on that show. I do not want to be on camera. Turn, turn the fucking cameras off. <laughs> turn the fucking cameras off. You can produce that shit. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, that would be those conniving. producers are slimy, slimy bastards. But dude, you couldn't go on that show. You. All of those guys are goofs. They are goofs. The only one that wasn't a goof was Clay. And he said no to the baddest bitch in the game. Mm-hmm. She was stacked. She was stacked. Dude, don't you stacked? Imagine your man <laughs> that you're about to marry turns to you and goes, look at AD's ass. She's fucking stacked. And then you try to play it really cool by also saying, <laughs> dude, AD, you're stacked. He said so. Uh, I feel bad. I feel bad for her. She got, um, she got some heat, some hot water, some... She got fucked in the credits <laughs> yeah she got fucked hard and she's handling it like a champ yeah she really is she gave herself her own pat on the back for handling it like a champ yeah. good for her good for her because she is um getting absolutely destroyed online yeah. and uh yeah i don't know it seemed like nobody was there for the right reasons no Mm-mm. well she ended up getting an elf deal so yeah that's good that's a banger that's good for her and i'm not gonna lie like i kept looking at her and i'm like maybe you do look like megan fox yeah but from north carolina she's the midwest Megan Fox yeah, but she's not from real. the Midwest she's from North Carolina yeah but dude that's why you just never you, you one never say you look like anyone no 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 that's a weird thing to do boy I feel like um, confident fellas will say that all the time like I look like so and so you know it got slept on that he said he looked like Christian McCaffrey yeah that's and Christian crazy. McCaffrey is super handsome and Megan Fox is Megan Fox like why is she just getting attacked for it and not him oh we got Roan calling oh god can you talk to him I don't want I don't want <laughs> come on I, stop what no the please fuck? you have to Hey, Road. Hey, Road. Um, we we don't know if you already disclosed this on your podcast. If it was a joke, the Jake Gyllenhaal stuff. Yes, that was the, that was all. It was a big a big big joke. Oh, damn. <sighs> We're gonna run with the fact it wasn't. But thank you. You want it to be true? We just want to believe it because it's actually believable, which is the scary part. I know. I worked hard to make that story believable. Um, you guys can run with it. Okay, cool. Well, well, we'll also keep this in, but we're just going to tell everyone we're going to run with it. Oh, yeah, you're being recorded. It's way funnier. Yeah, it's supposed to be uh, it's supposed to be fun and funny. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Ron. Yep. Bye. Okay, perfect. I love your background. Thank you. It's LeBron James saying, smiling, because I cannot believe this is my life. <laughs> um, wait, what, we were talking about our love is blind. Yes. Uh, where were we at, though? Um, when, when when dudes will claim that they look like someone. Yeah. And then she claimed like that she looked like someone. But that's like saying, remember I said I can't stand it when those, there's this trend on TikTok where like beautiful girls will make this video being like when he thinks he bagged a baddie, but I'm just weird as fuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. shut the fuck up. And then, and then, but this is what they do. And you can probably guess what I'm going to do. They say, but I'm weird as fuck. And then they go. And they go crazy. And they, do, they just do weird faces. I hate when people make weird faces for humor. It's, it, it's too much. It's too much. You know what it is? It's, um, it's just uh, above the Gen Z line. Like, uh, I'm just... You've crossed above the Gen Z line. And there's nothing wrong with being a millennial. But, you know, no. there's, there, there is a cringeness to not being self-aware. Yeah. <laughs> when he thinks he bags a baddie, but I'm just weird as fuck. <laughs> uh, but that, oh. I feel like that's equivalent to being like, I look like Megan Fox. Like, just... Keep it, keep it to yourself. Yeah. Because no matter what, even if she does kind of look like Megan Fox, you're going to get torn apart. Yeah. I mean, you can never claim to look like someone, especially if you're not correct. Yeah, exactly. Um, But that show got us thinking. And you know what? I, I sparked a national debate, Grace. What do you got? I posted on TikTok after we watched it why when guys and girls get married, 
why did only the girl have to wear an engagement ring until they get married? Yeah, fucked up. I started a national claimed. debate. I've oh claimed you. But I'm like, okay, but even if the girl were to buy, everyone's like, well, just buy him an engagement ring. I'm like, I will, but I feel like they won't wear it yeah, until they're engaged. Why can't until we they're both married. Yeah, you mean. that's what I mean. I'm yeah. sorry. Like, that's crazy that the lady has to walk around claimed and then the guy walks around no rubber. It doesn't make no sense. I don't get it. And what's wrong with all these boys lately not wearing no rubbers? <laughs> Grace <laughs> thinks there's a, a a condom epidemic. Yeah, apparently. I don't even know wh- why you th- wh- what you're thinking. One of our friends didn't have sex with someone because he didn't bring a condom. And Grace was like, what the fuck? And I'm like, that's <laughs> not that, like, that's not crazy. No, it's, whoa. <laughs> whoa <laughs> there's so much context that is going what? that is not going to be said so it's not fair okay, and then wait. i just look like a womanizer i don't like, want to be a womanizer say the context, there's then. no con i don't want to put her on blast you, this is not this is just someone and a guy came over mm, hasn't been laid in a while dude if i haven't been laid in a while which is correct mm-hmm. uh, and the guy's promising to lay me and he does he's like oh but i don't have a condom no problem dog no problem <laughs> that's what i'm saying i'm i don't want you but to the whole that. std skin mm-hmm. all this stuff mm-hmm. you know this is gonna play it safe you yeah, know play it safe mm-hmm. but also there was a <laughs> in love is blind this is where it sparked yes from. there was this couple on love is blind where they wouldn't have sex until they got married because she wasn't on birth control and i just was screaming at the tv <laughs> condoms exist condoms exist why don't you just wear a condom and pull out where to i don't know they weren't understanding anything no this you guy can't was wear like two condoms it doesn't it doesn't help do you think it does uh, i said why not if he's so fucking worried about wrapping his willy up <laughs> well he won't wrap it up in this first place now you but think he's gonna double saying. down why don't you just wrap this shit up brother he was like so com- he was like so against they could not fuck because she wasn't on birth control i'm like then wear a condom yeah it's it, that easy it's that easy what is up with guys fearful of wearing condoms does it hurt is what i wonder does it hurt ask the crowd does I'll it call hurt back <laughs> <laughs> hey Ron, does it hurt when you wear a condom oh uh, that means so weird <laughs> <laughs> i didn't want to do that um i like your orange shirt thank you i love your damn um. <laughs> thank you um but yeah so there's a condom epidemic there's a condom epidemic All right, guys, quick commercial break. So I have been on my hair care journey. I post about it all the time. This weekend, I was fighting with putting extensions back in like permanently. I did clip-ins and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna let the growth keep going. And I've been doing it and using Whey, which has helped me so much. My hair is like frizzy all the time. Is that the anti-frizz stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there she goes. My hair is frizzy. This new stuff is fucking awesome. Uh, It's the new anti-frizz cream. It's a lightweight cream that provides immediate frizz control that lasts up to 72 hours hours it's super good with the weather getting warmer where your hair gets more frizzy if you haven't tried this yet make sure to try it you can get busy uh you can get busy being frizz free with away's new anti-frizz cream which provides immediate frizz control that lasts up to 72 hours plus it's a heat protectant up to 450 degrees so ways anti-frizz cream helps reduce hair and repair split ends while quenching dry hair with intense hydration which is exactly what i need from a hair care journey because uh, my hair was bleached as shit and now i put this in and it's super hydrated so according to a consumer perception study 90 percent of participants agreed their hair looks less frizzy so frizz free up your schedule with way you can go to t-h-e-o-u-a-i dot com in promo code brie for 15 percent off any product that's t-h-e-o-u-a-i dot com promo code brie make sure to check it out you wrote something down in your phone for us to talk about and i can't remember what it was was it the condom thing no it was drinking this was going to spark spark a debate and we couldn't handle it at the moment do you drink just to get drunk or you'll enjoy the taste oh and then i said that it seriously depends like some nights i just want to have some wine and enjoy the taste of it Mm -hmm. and other nights i want to drink to drunk out (laughs) but you said you just want to drink to get drunk i like obviously want my drink to taste good but i don't in what world am i going to put alcohol into my body to not feel the effects of it what's the point dinner with a glass of wine what do you mean? What's the point? Well, I don't under. That's what I'm saying. We don't see eye to eye on this. I don't understand why you would drink alcohol. Oh yeah, that's. I forgot. We to we not. started to debate this, and then we said, you know what? We can't even fucking debate it. It's going to turn into a big giant fight. Like I want my alcohol to be something I enjoy the taste of, but mm-hmm. I don't. I'm not just going to sit on the couch and drink alcohol. To not like I want to drink alcohol to be drunk, to feel the effects. So when of you it. have a wine that you want to get absolutely slashed, a wine night. Yeah. Why else am I drinking wine? for the taste to, no, to enjoy drink, it uh, i enjoy it because it makes me feel fuzzy and warm inside 
That's a fucking point of alcohol. <laughs> I just I I I could have I really enjoy I think maybe the alcohol. only thing is people drink red wine with steak maybe that that's what I'm talking about yeah but you said all all alcohol you just sometimes enjoy the taste no you see this is where this is where it was on the couch this is where we're gonna this fucking where lose on the couch. fucking mind you you take things you twist them and you make me feel like a doofus Grace this is what you said on the couch yeah. this is what I'm saying right now it's the same thing I'm saying more okay whatever I drink because I want the alcohol to work you drink because you like how it tastes sometimes yes it depends yes okay I don't get what your problem is we don't see eye to eye on this all right then we're just gonna close it again <laughs> close it down shut this I one drink down alcohol seal it drunk. up don't bring it don't ever bring it up again <sighs> Okay, what do you want to talk about now? <laughs> uh, people will talk about your boobs because you got a boob do job and that's not cool. Oh, we did talk about this. Yes. Um, like how people won't talk about girls' boobs because it's sexualizing and creepy. Mm -hmm. But if they get a boob job, they think that they can talk about their boobs. Like you want them to talk about it. Yeah. It's disturbing. It's like, no, it's just, they're still my boobs. Like even so many guys here at Barstool have talked about my boobs and I'm like, I feel super fucking uncomfortable. Just because I got a boob job doesn't mean talk about my boobs. Do not talk about my boobs. Like that's so, it's so fucking weird. Why do you think just because someone has fake boobs that you can be creepy about them? Yeah, it's, that is you're a still, double-edged sword you're still there. Creepy. Like that's still creepy. Yeah. You're still talking about someone's boobs. I, and I'm, like, is it, do they think because you're open about getting a boob job that it opens up a conversation about your boobs? Well, that's the other thing. It's like a double-edged sword with, I'm so honest that I got a boob job and everyone thinks that they can talk about it. I'm mm. like, but then if I don't talk about it, you, she's hiding it. She's mm. hiding it to, oh my God. Like you can't, you can't win. Yeah. There's, there's no winning on that. No, there's no winning at all. Just keep people's, don't talk about people's body parts. It's fucking weird and gross and disgusting. It's, it is bizarre. Yeah. Tits weird. Just like in no circumstance ever, I think you should talk about um anyone's body. Unless, unless someone says, do you like these tits? And then you can say, hooga, hooga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's when it, yeah. that's when it works. If I want, if I'm talking about my boobs and you ask a question about them, for sure. Yeah. You don't just talk about someone's boobs. That's just, don't bring it up. Don't be. Makes also, me super uncomfortable. Also, it's like sometimes the first thing people will say, mm -hmm. like, dude, your boob job, where'd you get your boobs? <laughs> Crazy? Insane? Yeah, I'm uncomfortable. Let's not do that. Let's just not, I don't go up to anyone's, but like, even like, you don't just go up to someone and say, your boobs are fucking hot. <laughs> that's crazy. I'm just feeling sexualized and creepy. And I don't mind, so if you want to say it to me, that's cool. You can say it to but talk about But Grace's most women boobs. don't do that, okay? Yeah, it's, it's really just don't talk about people's boobs. We're talking about that. You can talk about my boobs all day long. Grace wants her boobs <laughs> talked about because she wants, you signed an NDA, but Kevin Hart... Oh, I came in here. I'm like, what's the craziest thing I can say when I walk into the stew today? Mm -hmm. And I saw a picture of Kevin Hart. So I just ran with the fact that I was with Kevin Hart last night and I um, we had a summer party. Yeah. I won't say I had sex with Kevin Hart. <laughs> <laughs> he's another shorty. Yeah, he's short as Oh, well. you love the shorties. What? You love shorties. I don't love shorties. Yeah, Conor McGregor. We just heard Boston <laughs> barking. Barking from another room. <laughs> check on her the boss the hannah has her <laughs> <laughs> she's probably barking at um danny she doesn't like facial hair oh that's mm -hmm. crazy <laughs> i know she's so scared of facial hair it's hilarious <laughs> quick commercial break for visible ever wish you could call a foul on a wireless carrier for their hidden fees then it's time to switch to visible switch to visible the wireless company with nothing to hide and get one line wireless with unlimited 5g data powered by verizon just 25 dollars a month every month taxes and fees included one line wireless just 25 dollars a month taxes and fees included visible is the wireless company with nothing to hide no hidden fees no gotchas Unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon. Don't let hidden fees stop you from being a fan of wireless. Switch to Visible and save. Switch now at Visible.com. Rate with service on the Visible plan for additional terms and network management practices. See Visible.com. But yeah, we really just rotted away all weekend and my cousins came and we blasted off in Jersey City. Pretty oh, kitty. yeah. We crossed that river. <laughs> we, my cousins came to visit us in the city and we said, oh, we're going to Jersey. <laughs> Come on, come on down to the city. We're going to Jersey, baby. And we had an old-fashioned blast off. We blasted off. That was yeah. the plan. We were going to blast off this weekend, and we absolutely did. We absolutely did. And I had so many 
heartfelt conversations. We were talking about this the next morning, and they were they're beautiful. They ended great, but I can't recall. Mm. Mm. One of those blackout blast offs. Like I remember all the conversations. I can picture them in my head, but I don't know the words that were being said. Maybe it's for the better. Maybe yeah. Sometimes yeah. I just know? hate that. I hate when you're walking, talking blackout. Yeah. And you're having a blast, um, and then you can't recall what you said. Yeah, that's the that's the fucking worst. And I had some days scary for no reason because nothing bad happened. Well, I had some uh, horror war flashbacks for myself personally. Mm-hmm. Uh, things would come back and I go, don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Homer Simpson, but other than that, um, <sighs> yeah, I just hate that. Yeah. I just hate having those flashbacks. I don't, you know what? I honestly don't get embarrassed anymore, really. Uh-huh. Like, I seriously don't, mm-hmm. which is crazy because I, wa- I was a walking, talking, embarrassed woman for a long time. Now mm-hmm. I just don't get embarrassed, and it's a lovely thing, but some of those flashbacks, you're like, ah, oh, fuck, what the hell happened there? Yeah, I had, a t- I had a couple of, we had a lot of flashbacks on the couch, and we said we have to stop talking about it. Yeah. We were being trolls. Ah uh, yeah, well, we were dead ass trolling. We heard someone use the the word trolling in a literal sense recently, uh-huh. and we we can't believe that people really use that word. Also, people really be out here trolling. Also, <laughs> we were out here trolling, IRL. <laughs> yeah, we were. We realized we thought we were like being so hilarious and like funny this weekend, and we were realizing we didn't even have good jokes. We were just trolling. Our jokes were bad, and we were trolling our faces off because we were <laughs> wasted thinking we were hitting this fucking high mark of joking off, but we were just trolling ourselves, man. We were so wasted to the point where the jokes weren't hitting. They were trolling. No, yeah, we were trolling bad. We had troll face. Mm-hmm. It was gross. You wore your sweats out and ripped your shirt in half. Yeah, mm-hmm. I sure did. I uh, I didn't. I thought we were straight up chilling, mm-hmm. but turns out we were blasting off and trolling. So. I had my sweats on, went to the 15,000 bars, and uh, it just wasn't my favorite outfit to be wearing. Plus, I was sweating dick. It was pretty hot. Yeah, it was pretty hot. It was pretty hot. We ended up we ended up at some restaurant, and we tried to stand on the table for what reason? I don't know. Mm. This is when our blast off was sending full to the moon. Yeah, it was absolutely taking on takeoff. And the music <laughs> was busting, so we stood up, <laughs> stood up on our chairs and we said, get the fuck up. Everyone's vibes were kind of low. We're trying to bring the vibes up. Yeah. So we get on our table. We da- Well, we get on our chairs. Mm-hmm. We start dancing because we were at this restaurant that had bottle service at the table. It was a weird concept. It was an interesting restaurant. I had fun. Yeah. But um, it was definitely weird. And um, we stand up and then the guy comes over and is like, you guys have to sit down. I'm like, oh yeah, no problem. Yeah, we're like, yeah, we probably shouldn't have stood up. Why the hell did we get up in the first place? Yeah, I'm kind of embarrassed that we even did that. Then what happened? Then he comes back over and he says, actually, they actually, uh, my management said, you have to get back up. And they handed us, (laughs) they handed us sparklers. Mm -hmm. They handed us these, you know, the sparklers you get when they come out with bottle service. They handed them to us. We put them in our mouth. Mine flew right out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. Landed uh, uh, at the table behind us. Thank God it didn't land in someone's hair. Oh, my God. God. That's fire. That's fire. I'm going to jail for arson. I'm an arsonist. You already know this. And I really took off. Are you shaking? Um, Yes. I had an energy drink. You had an energy drink. (laughs) (laughs) I just saw a visible shake. That was fucked up. I had an energy drink. Um, For those of you listening at home, there's shaking hands going on. (laughs) Yeah. I had had two energy. I had an energy drink and a coffee. Oh, jeez. I'm exhausted. And when I get super exhausted... I get these white bubbles under my eyes. Do you experience that? Well, somebody, um, I posted that I have two different size eyes. Mm -hmm. And somebody said, oh, well, you have Graves' disease. I'm like, well, that's not fair because now I think I have Graves' disease. Yeah. But I don't think you do. Is that what that is? I don't know. Maybe we both have Graves' disease. That seems like irrational. Yeah, I don't know. Don't listen probably to comments telling you what diseases you have. That's true. Um, But, dude, I get these white dots under my eyes when I get super tired. And I want to know if anyone else experiences that. But I guess we just weren't sleeping. No, we... See, here's the thing. We were up till ass crack, but then we sleep till noon fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You gotta, we gotta get our sleep schedule right. Yeah, dude. It's not, as soon as I started hanging out with you again, I'm like, dude. I know. I'm, my sleep schedule's fucked. Ugh, fucked, because my shit's fucked. I'm going to bed at literally 5 a.m. That's like, oh, when I'm finally tired. I'm like, oh, good. It's time to go to bed. What time is it? Oh, 4.30. Good yeah. night. But then Boston will wake me up at 9, so it's all <laughs> fucked. Uh, and that's when I get white dots under my eyes, and I'm gonna explode from the inside out. I'm gonna combust. <laughs> 
All right, guys, quick commercial break. So today we've got something truly special for renters and landlords out there. So paying rent is something we all have to do. And let's be honest, it can sometimes be a bit of a hassle. Uh, There's a way to make it more easy, more straightforward, and even beneficial for your financial future. It's introducing RentApp. So the ultimate tool for renters everywhere. RentApp takes the hassle out of paying rent by depositing your payments directly into your landlord's bank account. I actually use RentApp now. It's fucking awesome because I was one of those people where my landlord was stuck in the fucking, I don't even know, 70s where you had to mail him a check. I'm like, can we get with the program he was like no you still have to mail me a check i was like have you heard of rent app so i use rent app now there are no fees no weekly limits so rent app is completely free for you to use and there's no need for your landlord to create an account it's completely free for them too so rent app is also about helping you build a brighter financial future by optionally reporting your on-time rent payments to the three major credit bureaus rent app brings you one step closer to home ownership and helps boost your credit score which is amazing it's literally a win-win for everyone so why wait you can head to the app store and download rent app today and follow rent app at RentApp on Instagram and Twitter. And for our listeners, we've got an exclusive deal. You can go to rent.app slash barstool to get $50 cash back on your first rent payment. And if you're a landlord, you can go to rent.app slash landlord to get paid on time without hassle. Make sure to check it out. It's a heaven set. Let's get back to the episode. Boston uh, knows about the ghosts. Did we tell them about the ghosts? There's ghosts in your house. Uh, yeah. Or someone keeps trying to break in. Yeah, we're not sure about what that is. We've been playing house for the last like four days. Yeah, Grace <laughs> has just been sleeping over every night and fucking... Every night we hear this rattling, mm-hmm. like in my. It's like it sounds just like this. Yeah, and it's like, like that. <laughs> in a vent, and you can hear it, and that has never happened before. Mm. And the other day we're sitting on the couch, birds start flying into the window. Just one bird, three times. That's crazy. <laughs> Back, it just flew in and I didn't believe it. Means Grace. a big change to come in. Yeah, that, no, dude, thank God she saw it though. It was like one of those times where I was like, Somebody needs to also witness this or I feel crazy. Mm -hmm. And then you finally started on the third strike to the window. Yeah, that was crazy. (laughs) It was crazy. And it's very like much like it's like it was a tiny skinny panel. It's not like a bird could get confused Mm -hmm. and like try to fly in. It was like this bird was trying to say, hey, I'm trying to bust in. And then right after that, Boston is laying down and she starts growling and screaming and freaking out at the wall. Mm -hmm. And then at night, she barks at someone trying to break in and the windows are like pushed. Yeah. So... We're going to go get some sage. Mm, yeah. Sage that shit up. Sage it up. I don't know. Uh, like, I, always something crazy. My last apartment, my Jeffrey Dahmer lived next to me pretty much. Mm-hmm. I so- wonder if he ended up knocking the wall down, just making better space. Probably. More space for bow days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now, yeah, but this was never haunted before. So I'm just a little, maybe th- it's just spring cleaning. Yeah. The ghosts are it's just spring out. cleaning for ghosts. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. what I'm assuming. Yeah, that just yeah. that just absolutely checks. So I just mm-hmm. can't believe it hasn't happened till just now. Mm-mm. Oh, we got in a cry- crazy kind of crazy mood yesterday. We watched um a fucking oh my god cannibal movie, and now I can't stop thinking that there's actually cannibals out there. I know we were watching it, and I go I'm, like my brain was so fried. I I just look over to me and I'm like. My brain's so fried that I actually believe that there's actual people who must eat people to survive. Yeah. It's, and, we watch Bones and all. And you hit it with, dude, I was thinking the same thing. And I was like, oh, I feel so much better. Dude. While I'm eating steak. <laughs> dude, it was the most crazy thing. that I, It was diabolical. It was diabolical. <laughs> I didn't realize how diabolical that was. Yeah, it was crazy. We put on the cannibal movie and she ordered a bunch of steak. Yeah. And we but knew we were starving. watching the cannibal movie. I know, but I was starving. <laughs> Good ass steak. It actually made me more. It actually had made me have more of an appetite. Oh, gross, dude! What I had to eat. <laughs> <laughs> See, I had to feed. Oh, dude, feed. If you want to feel absolutely disgusting, like of course the cannibal part of this movie was absolutely disgusting. But the way it was shot and this creepy guy in it, like if you would need to be icked out and gross the fuck out if you like spooky, creepy things, watch Bones and All. I can't believe more people haven't talked that much about it. I know it's disgusting. It's, it came two years ago we're just finding this diabolical I movie I remember Gia went was, was like so excited to see it we talked about it on the pod yeah but we never brought it back up and oh, then we the never fuck? saw it and don't dare don't you dare see it if you can't if you have a weak stomach and don't you dare eat steak while you're watching it that's fucked up unless you're diabolical I'm not diabolical <laughs> and then we ended the night on the movie Precious oh yeah I had never seen Precious it's fucking devastating it's the most sad movie you'll ever see in your whole entire fucking existence what were we twisted yesterday we well, were absolutely no. twisted we got well, yeah we were twisted um, <laughs> but we, we said we watched a happy movie mm-hmm. we needed to go through all the things we yeah. watched scary yeah. then we watched funny mm-hmm. and then we watched real life then we watched sad yeah we did a lot of couch potato shit (laughs) yeah we were literally on the couch all day yesterday Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was felt good it was good i I had a couch day yeah 
but uh it's always nice to get a good couch day in with your boy yeah for real get that couch shit in and fuck uh, i i don't i think what we said last podcast i don't even know if we said it was that we're gonna start taking it taking it easy yeah I said, i'm putting my foot down yeah but um that was before all of this this you called me after saint patrick's day and we said we're both gonna take it pretty easy we didn't live up to those expectations. Yeah, I was never going to say that all online, though. Uh, well, I, I, I said it, too. I was going to take it easy, and I didn't. Because I know we're not going to take it easy. I know. You can't There's too it, much shit, dude. Can't I didn't take, take life easy. easy. You can't take it easy when it's 50 degrees out in New York. For real. And especially when you got when you got that natural light. that you, Dude, I ran to her house every day because it is, it is that bright in there. It's I had never been there in the daylight, which yeah. is insane. It's really good natural <laughs> it's light. It's really good now. It's awesome. Um, but it makes you feel like you're not um, scared in my old apartment. It was so dark. And I'm a basement well at mine. Yeah, so you needed some light. Yeah. So, yeah, if you ever just feel like you need to do a reset, have a couch potato day with your boy. Yeah, that's all you need, really. That's all you need. Because look at us. We feel great movie. now. Yeah, I feel great. I'm not even tired. I don't have dots under my eyes, and you don't have Graves' disease. I don't have Graves' disease. Nope. Please. Please. I can't deal with that. My voice is fine. I sound sexy. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. She's very sexy. Very sexy. Out. Well, let's talk about your boobs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Boobs out. Boobs out. Let's get it. Come on. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, but I'm honestly feeling um, I'm feeling electric. I feel like New York City, the warm weather, it just makes me excited. I know. Of course it, it does. It makes me just feel good. And I'm like, it's oh. It's good stuff. Do you Especially... see the flowers on the fucking trees, Grace, budding? Yeah, dude. How'd that make you feel, bro? I did one of these. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's a good feeling. Yeah, yeah it's like nice. wow, that is a good ass feeling. Dude, we got a lot of good stuff coming up. We're going to Talladega, guys. We <laughs> are going to Talladega. Which Brian, I, they I don't keep even going to Dega, and Brianna goes, "Are we going to a Deca meeting? What is this? That's what it sounds like." <laughs> uh, I don't understand. I don't like. I know that we're going to a NASCAR event, but like, do you know what it is or what we're doing there? Yeah, well, uh, we're, we're throwing a tailgate. That's party. one thing. Party. Um. I'm not even saying that. Like, what goes on there? Oh, what goes on? Like, uh, rage? They go, they go real fast. Real fast? Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to be absolutely speed demons? Yeah. And we're going to have to wear fast sunglasses. Fuck. I need to get some. I hate wearing sunglasses. We're going to have to go real fast. Okay. I'm we should go- bring our boys with us. Okay. Yeah. All we're going right. to have to do that. Okay. Yeah. We're bringing our boys to Daga. Yeah. Daga. Daga. Taladaga. Taladaga. Yeah. Like a knife, a dagger. But yeah, dagger. Let's get it. Okay. So that we're going there in like two weeks? Yeah, I guess I guess that's what it's that is. It's in Alabama. Yeah. You don't like Alabama? Or that's Mississippi we didn't like. Yeah. Because they hate women. I just don't I don't particularly like I am a city girl. Yeah. I don't that's fine. I'm allowed to like that. Yeah, don't get mad. You're a city girl. And city girls are what? Oh mm-hmm. city girls are up. I pranked your ass over the weekend. You did prank me. Mm-hmm. And you were talking to yourself all out like a goof. Because I was confused. <laughs> Grace tried. Do you want to tell them your prank? Yeah, I um, I was so bored. The TV was broken. Yeah, that so was we had a nothing big bummer to do. for us. We fucking we wore it dry. We watched so much TV <laughs> it broke. <laughs> it overheated. <laughs> it was really crazy. We watched that much TV. It broke. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Brianna was downstairs uh, fixing herself uh, a drink or something, and she comes up. <laughs> And I just, I couldn't think of anything. I just go, I know what you said about me. And I stormed off, took my purse and slammed the door. Uh And you. I just said, (laughs) I think I said, I didn't even speak in English. I basically said, I have purse. I said, are you being joking right now? (laughs) And then you walk out and I go, I start talking to myself. I go, is this real life? (laughs) What could I possibly have said about her? I'm standing there thinking, what could I possibly have said about her going through all the way from middle school to now? (laughs) And then he walked right back and said, camera. Well, I had to because uh, y- your new neighbors moved in and they just were watching me stand at the door. Like a creep. Like a creep. I, yeah. I slammed the door and then I stood at it. <laughs> like a fucking weirdo. I was like, uh-huh. camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you pranked us. You pranked me good. Yeah, I got your ass. Yeah, I'm kind of in the prank zone. It's kind of hard for me to prank though. Really? But yeah, it just freaks me out. I can't, I just immediately want to be like, it's a prank. Oh, I'm really good at pranking. Yeah, you're a good pranker. I can prank. So maybe that's I'm an like, uh, You have to get better because you have to be an acaturist. But I, but I know that I'm acting. Like the other person doesn't know that you're acting. Mm, I don't mind. Uh, I do. I Because at the end, I could say, to joking. Uh, yeah. To joking. Mm, I guess I could prank you. Yeah. But I couldn't prank someone on the street. Like, I could prank someone on the street. Like, like no problem. Like Danny from, or the Nelk Boys. Yeah. I can't do those mode. pranks. I can't. Oh, dude. Um, Impractical Jokers did a, did a prank at our buddy's bar. Mm-hmm. On, on Thursday. That was pretty freaking hilarious. I don't know if we're allowed to say it. 
Oh. Did they? Because I don't know if they aired it. I don't know. They pranked, though. They pranked pretty hard. But then they felt really bad, so they bought, like, $3,000 worth of drinks. Yeah, they did, for everybody. Big, they did a really big prank. Yeah. Oh, that, is just... that was at Sucker Punch Sports Brawler in Murray Hill on 26th. Happy one and year. Happy one year. And third. Happy one year, Noah. Happy one year, Noah. Yeah, we like... Up oh, Noah's back. Yeah, we posted that we were with Noah, and everyone freaked out. Yeah, everyone's losing it. I know. <laughs> it was funny. Well, that's actually the first time I have seen Noah and, like, all everyone from our not our old friend group our friend group but since i don't know what eight months or something since breakup time yeah so i just like let it i let it marinate and then came back and that's where all the heart felts and the hugs and the crying and (laughs) we were all so happy to be back together and uh yeah it was a beautiful thing but everyone was freaking out because we posted that we were with them yeah i know everyone was like dude the gang's back we're like dude the gang's back the gang never really left we were always talking you were chilling with i was always chilling with them but Mm -hmm. Everyone was really worried if you were ever come back. Yeah, I'm the, I'm so back, bro, because city girls are up. City girls are up. Mm, city you girls keep are. saying that. Wait, why? I feel like it's, it's like alluding to... City, city girls is about, like, fucking. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, no. <laughs> city girls City girls is up just like I'm in my bag. <laughs> like, no, city girls, like, this city girl. Uh, yeah, that city girls are up, like, boner up, but I'm just, my vibes are up. Yeah, no. Okay. City girls vibes up. <laughs> Let me clarify that. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, I don't. I guess I don't know. I just say stuff. I didn't know city girls up means we fucking. I'm pretty damn sure. I I believe you. I believe everything. Like I said, I literally thought Kate Middleton was a clone. So city girls up probably does mean fucking. I think so. I think so too. All right. No more that I think about it. City girls down because city boys always say city boys up. Yeah, and that means it's all dirty for that. Ew, gross. (laughs) Uh, I hate it. I just I think I should just stay away from that terminology if I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah. (laughs) I just when I don't know what you're saying, just don't say it. (laughs) That's important. (laughs) That is important. (laughs) Uh, Ignorance Uh, is not bliss. No. No. God. God. Help us. (laughs) You've been adulting for a while, so the daily stress of swiping left, binging the fourth season of Gossip Girl until 2 a.m. instead of getting the recommended eight hours to sleep and just trying to keep your life together can cause stress aging. Yes, it's a thing. The good news, Europe's number one skincare line has a solution you can trust, rooted in nature and innovative with science clearance, has a long legacy of creating industry-first, plant-forward products using a skin changer complex made of 2% niacin uh, mud. It's hard to say. A C. Holly bio extract, Clarence Multi-Active Cream has been clinically proven to target the first visible signs of aging by smoothing lines and wrinkles, refining pores, evening tones and texture, and strengthening the skin's moisture barrier. Seriously, Brianna? Wait, and they have good lip oil. I used the lip oil in the last episode. They got it rocking. Yeah, they got it, it absolutely it's rocking. All the best ever, and it's super pretty. It looks clean, chic. I like it. It's number one in Europe, Brianna. I know, and Europeans have better skin than Americans. They sure do. Not anymore because we got this in America now. Welcome to <laughs> go to Clarence.com slash Brie and get multi-active day and night cream for 10% off a free welcome gift plus free shipping on your first order. That's C L A R I N S dot com slash Brie with code Brie. Clarence.com slash Brie with promo code Brie. Let's get back to the show, bro. I just found some fucking... I'm, I'm trying to find because we've been writing things down over the weekend. Yeah. This was written on St. Paddy's Day at 10.15 p.m. I think it's supposed to be a joke, mm-hmm. but it's dead ass, I think, okay. also. Okay. I'm at the point where I, I've been single for a while, and I don't mind if anyone cheats on me as long as you come back to me. Listen, all I'm saying is if she gets the tulips, I better get the roses. Okay. <laughs> what? All right. The fuck? Okay. That's crazy, if girl. If she gets the tulips, I, I better, better be get getting the roses. roses. <laughs> okay, so you like you don't like tulips, you like roses. I mean, I feel like roses are more expensive. Okay, all right. I think yeah. that's the joke there. Okay, and there's no, it's not, that's not funny. That's just trolling. That's just sad. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean it, or you're just drunk? Um, no, I was just drunk. Yeah, I don't mean that. No. Um, Do you have anything else in your notes? Everything. Uh, in my notes oh, last night I tried to prank you and tell you that I got my first acting gig. Yeah, you did. And I was like, and, and Brian was like, oh, wow, really? What was it? Because <laughs> she knew I was trolling. Because she's the worst liar. She trolls. Her <laughs> troll face is so bad. She just looks at me, dude. She gets all like, I got, so maybe you can't prank. I can prank. <laughs> I can prank. I can prank everyone but you, I think. She tried to, she tried to say, yeah, I got, like, she got all like fidgety. I got my first acting job. And she's like, <laughs> trying not to smile. And so her mouth just started looking like this. I'm like, oh, yeah, what is it? <laughs> I wrote it down in my notes. 
barely breathing burn victim under the bridge number four <laughs> on on blue bloods <laughs> CBS. <laughs> I would actually, and then for a second, I was like, "Wait, that's kind of hilarious." Did you maybe actually get that? Because they just need those type of people yeah, for things, don't they? Like people, like um, like just about every child star was like a a burn victim under the bridge. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so Brie. Yeah. I Jake. don't know if you know, but uh, Waldo's Rescue Pen. I they have named a bunch of barstool employees after dogs dogs <laughs> after barstool employees okay they named the dogs at the rescue after barstool employees yep and yes. we both have one and i have to get yours dude that okay this is crazy because this is the type of dog that remember we saw this dog walking on yes. the street in wherever we were and you were like I, that's the one guy that i need i want that dog so bad yes. and then the dog that they named after me cutest little thing i've ever seen is exactly like the dog that you want it really is and i just but you would have I to could change have his dog. name no. I can't call I can't call what would you call it? Bree Bree. That's cute. <laughs> but I yeah. Bree Bree. But oh my gosh, Grace, you have to get a dog. I can't right now. I know better. <sighs> oh my gosh. They named a bunch of them. You have one too. I have one too. Yours is adorable. Oh. There's Grace O'Malley's puppy. Oh my gosh, I need to get her. Oh or him. God. I can't see that far. They have the cutest dogs ever. And obviously, if you don't want to keep the name of them being a Barstool employee, that's fine. But you should totally <laughs> look at these dogs because they're all so fucking perfect and they all need homes. And I think it's actually a really good way to like market that they yeah. have so many dogs up for adoption. It's so smart because, yeah. I mean, you got to get more eyes on these pups. Yeah. They just they just saved, um, I think it was like 25 dogs from getting... <gasps> euthanized euthanized oh my gosh so this i can't believe that's really something that still happens i know I, so this is a no kill shelter it, oh um yours has or mine i forget which one one of them has a separation anxiety <gasps> no shit oh my god obviously <laughs> that's freaking adorable if you want to check out waldo's rescue they have so many dogs in there a lot of them are named after barstool employees and they're adorable and everyone should get one if you can't they should i know i really wish i could i really wish i could when do you think you're ready for a dog next year? No, I'm never going to be able to be ready. I, I can never settle down. But you don't have to settle down. I have. I travel too much. You can bring them? No. Oh. Huh. stinks. Dog doggy. <laughs> you could get a hamster. What the fuck? Gross. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> That's a piss on. <laughs> a piss on my hamster. Fuck a hamster. Fuck a hamster. Rodent ass. I don't want a rodent in my house. Ew. Gross. Ugh. It's like cockroaches. Don't even bring it up. Oh, <laughs> hamsters I think are cute, but I think they're a very useless animal. Like in the sense of like I get being a child and but having But ants are so important to you. Well, I don't want an ant farm anymore. Okay. But I think they have huge hearts and they deserve love too. But uh, the hamsters, I think uh, I had so many hamsters growing up. They all fucking bite. Oh, too. all hamsters die in a tragic way. Yeah. Like the, I know five teen different horror stories about hamsters. Yeah, me too. All my hamsters died in a horrific way. Go for it. What my first hamster? I Are you okay got. to talk about it? I think enough time has passed. If I get teary eyed, please uh, leave the room. Don't Everyone, worry. Everyone, shut the cameras off. Of course. Let's talk about Hammy number one. Hammy number one. This is my first hamster. Uh, Hammy number one. We got him at Petco. He was a golden hamster. He was just a golden hamster, like the classic, the classic hamster. Okay. That people. Why get. there are the colors? There's a bunch of types of hamsters. They got the little gerbils. They got yeah. the big ones. Like I got the classic golden hammy. Okay. okay. Yeah. I bring home hammy. His name was Hammy. I named Hilarious. him Hammy. Of course. I had a cat named Blackie because she was black, and a cat named Kitty because she was a kitty. <laughs> kitty. Uh, I was very creative <laughs> with these ones. Uh, but anyways, I get hammy. I bring him home. It's my first hamster that I've been begging for. And this is in my South Boston house and on our stairs, like going up to my room. Oh, yeah. We had this like little hole in the stairs that's still there to this day because we still own the house. I'm like, guys, we've got to patch this up because if there's kids coming through this house with hamsters. Uh, but also, I was taking my hamster everywhere with me. Yeah. I was doing this thing where I was like, i got to give him a house tour. Like so, Little Bill? Yeah, I brought him down. Right? Little Bill had a hamster. I think you're right. Little Bill. Yeah. So, I love Little Bill. Uh, yeah, me too. I was bringing the hamster down to the basement, showing him this is the basement, showing him this is the kitchen. And I'm like, here, climb up the stairs. I'll show you the stairs. He climbed into the hole and he went in. God damn it, he never came out. <laughs> and I was a fucking mess. I'm literally hyperventilating, screaming like, Dad, we gotta get it. I tried to get a hammer and like bust down the wall. Yeah, I like, got the hammer for you, Hammy. Dude, I can't. <laughs> we tried to put food out. We tried to get him. He was long gone. Hammy's dead. 
or I don't know where he lived in the walls forever, but him, he's fucking, I lost him in a tragic way. Mm. So immediately my dad's like, all right, all right, we'll go to pet store. We'll go back to the pet store. We drive there. We've got like two minutes on the clock to get in. We get Hammy number two. Mm-hmm. Hammy number two. Hammy 2.0. Hammy 2.0. I uh, had him for about a week. Mm-hmm. I had some mischievous cats. Ooh. I kept all my rodents in my room for this purpose because I know my cats were mischievous. Mm-hmm. Fog. I left the door open when I went to third grade. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Kitty went in there. Mm-mm. Got Hammy number two. No. Tore Hammy number two up. Well, now, was it a bloody massacre or did she, or did she swallow? Um, thank God my family cleaned up the crime scene before I could get home. That would have just been horrific for a third grader. So at this point, I'm like, you know what? <laughs> no more hammies. We're not going the gold in the bad luck. No. Let's adopt a, 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 a sad old hamster. Yeah. They, Adopting it? Yeah. Where the fuck you get a fucking hamster to adopt? Craigslist. Craigslist. Someone oh. was giving it up. Yeah. It was about this long he was like the oldest hamster in the game his name was midnight <laughs> he had alopecia he had huge balls he was like this. What the fuck? and i was like this is my guy yeah if he died the only way this guy can die is of natural causes yeah midnight midnight he came with the name midnight because he was black like that was the color they called him the midnight sky no problem okay but don't look at me like that I'm they just named worried. him midnight because they was the blackest midnight sky that's what it said on the ad relax I'm just so scared <laughs> of everything. Um, but anyways, we get midnight. This is uh, hamster number three. Mm-hmm. Dude, he lived forever and he should have died for <laughs> so, like, so, like he would not die. And it was got to the point where it was like he was like decrepit and like you couldn't hold him because he was so bony. Where I was like, to explode? I want him to pass away because it's so sad to watch him live. He ended up dying of natural causes, but it was uh, it was just tragic to watch. And then I had two guinea pigs. Oh, guinea pigs. Okay. One died of a broken heart. One Go on. froze to death. Go on. My fucking friend Lexi. <laughs> I love you, Lex, but I had this big sleepover, and it was when I first moved to this town where I really wanted everyone to like me. I'm like, I'll, I'll have this blast-off sleepover. This is how you make friends. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, dude, I have guinea pigs. Everyone loves guinea pigs, right? I brought my guinea pigs down to the basement. I'm like, slumber party. Lexi starts sneezing in the middle of the night. She's like, ah. Oh. I can't sleep over. I go, whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean? Everyone's got to sleep over. This is a slumber party. Where you this think you're going? This is the slumber party. And she was like, can we move the guinea pigs to the other side of the basement? I was like, yeah, absolutely. We'll move them to the other side of the basement. Move them to the other side of the basement, which is fine. Uh, but uh, somehow the bulkhead got opened mm. and it got cold in the other side of the basement. So one of them got really cold. So one of them lived. One of them got really cold, frozen. I'm fucking devastated, man. I wake up, I'm like, I fuck, fuck her. I don't even want these new friends. I want to no. move back to where I came from. Yeah. These people suck. Yeah. You just killed my guinea pig, it's, Rapunzel. Uh, so Rapunzel. Yup. They were sisters. <laughs> Rapunzel's dead. <laughs> And butterscotch. <laughs> Rapunzel and butterscotch. You are ridiculous with these names. Well, I named them after all of my little pet shops. Okay. And I still remember all of my little pet shops names. And I still have the collection. But anyways. <laughs> nice. I think they could be worth money someday. Dude, you're ridiculous. But for real. My mom's been trying to give them to like little cousins forever. I'm like, no, nah, I can hold on. I have a weird attachment to them. So anyways, <laughs> Rapunzel's dead. I'm like, fucking Jesus Christ, man. These are my last rodents. And I put the other one upstairs. I'm like, he's staying in the warmest of warmth. Died of a broken heart. Two days later. <laughs> Because they were inseparable, Rapunzel and Butterscotch. So it always ends terrible. My snake went missing in my house for a while. Mm, they see. <sighs> yeah, and then we just found it in my TV stand. That's bizarre. Yeah, but he always ex- she always escaped because she was an escape artist, and I used to bring her to the park. What? My snake. Me and Talia would bring. You shouldn't bring our snakes to the park. Well, we brought the snake to the park so he could play in the grass. Mm. She wanted everyone to get the best life they could, and they, they all turned out to have pretty bad ones. It seems <laughs> yeah, like. you're kind of a pet mama. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was tragic. I don't know. Don't give a child a bunch of animals. Yeah, I guess not. I guess you were so. lucky enough to have so many animals. Yeah, it was awesome. But you also found out what heartbreak was real early on. Real early, <sighs> man. Fucking jeez. Uh, but yeah, you were right. Hamsters always die in tragic ways. Yeah. Terrible, tragic ways. <laughs> so good. Thank you for sharing that. One of my exes had a guinea pig in his fridge for so fucking long. What are you talking about? One of my exes. I hear you, but what? Had a guinea pig in the freezer forever. Why? This guinea pig passed away. And I understand. I understand. They, the, the ground was too, too solid to break. They wanted to bury it. So they put it in the freezer so that when the ground got a little softer... They could bury this guinea pig, but it was like I see. I that's it. That's an ick for me. 
personally. Yeah. Uh, well, it wasn't his. It was his sister's. Uh, even crazier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was just like crazy because it was the you know how, dude. It was like if you have a um a fridge in your garage, like you're rich, yeah. like because it was like that white fridge that we put all the extra drinks and then the house fridge is inside. It was in the garage fridge, so it wasn't that bad. Uh, so he was loaded, so you had to stay with them. Uh, <laughs> but it's like just the most middle class thing ever to have that, and everyone's like, I always thought, dude, this means they're rich. Uh, but there was a guinea pig in the in that freezer for too long. Oh shit! I, I don't know if it might be it's still there kind of funny to look back on yeah rest Dear in peace God. yeah did you ever run into any guinea pigs no nah. never nope you have never had any you didn't have any animals growing up right no they got a dog as soon as i moved out i was like thanks guys yeah that's fucked what the hell's wrong with you I know. that's so not fair to me i know i, I yeah. love my rosie girl though yeah she's a doll she's adorable she's a doll but yeah you never had any animals growing up no. too many kids i guess yeah i guess no animals we should, i don't know time. we just weren't an animal family so it makes me um cold no you love animals now i do yeah. but i didn't know what they were all about before no. <laughs> i was like dude i go no, over Grace people's houses i'm like whoa 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 what's up what's she did on? not fuck with animals i did it wasn't my favorite <laughs> because i just funny. i wasn't familiar you weren't familiar. and i didn't like being confused <laughs> <laughs> and then you got to know my jesse and then you loved, oh my god yeah you love dogs now yeah. she has her rosie and you love boston and you're her nana i'm nana who would have thought you went from hating animals or being confused about them i wasn't i was never a hater like i was never wanting them to be hurt or nothing no no I'm, that's I wasn't pretty, killing hamsters. No one's nothing. saying that. I would probably still kill a hamster. Don't say if that. If I had to. How much money? 30 bucks. Whoa. That's a low ball, Jay. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> 30 bucks, you're out here killing hamsters? If you need to get rid of it. <laughs> I know a guy. How would you kill it? It's this guy. How would you kill it? Uh, feed him corn. Too much corn. They love corn. Yeah. Give him too much corn. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to squish it. No. Ugh. No, I'm not a monster. I'll okay. Just give it too much corn. Okay. <laughs> all right. I guess that's all right. Yeah. 30 bucks a pop if you need a hamster killed. <laughs> if you need a hamster not... killed, just call old G up. 30 bucks a pop. <laughs> Doing it for real low right now. Things, uh, business hasn't been very good. You're pretty much an exterminator? <laughs> yeah, they're rodents. <laughs> <laughs> they are. But there's never, no one has like a house full of hamsters. That's crazy. <laughs> that would be nuts. That would be crazy to have a hamster infestation. Oh my God. Why don't, why don't you? I don't. I don't think they're just like they're domesticated now. I don't think they're just out there. Oh, so they turned into pussies. I guess. Yeah. Mm. That's why. That's why the rats got an upper hand. The rats. I don't do rats too much. Ugh. Yeah, Cardi B. Cardi B said it's so fucks because everyone says that the Bronx are the dirtiest part of New York, but it's not. It's Manhattan because Manhattan has the most rats. Yeah. So she's like, why is everyone calling the Bronx dirty? Manhattan has the most rats. That literally means you're the most dirty. Yeah. So I'm with her. Straight up. Yeah. It's crazy. Gross. Mm. Rats. Crazy. I, my mom saw a rat for the first time in a while the other day, and she she literally like lifted up her feet and went, oh! Ah! She was so scared. It is pretty gross. I I see them now. I'm like, dude, I wish it was, like I love seeing them get bigger and bigger. Yeah. Like I like, I want to find the biggest fucking rat in New York mm. and just watch it fucking g- drag a dead person. Yeah. These rats are fucked, kid. Have you ever seen these motherfucking rats? Yeah, I just... Uh, these my, motherfucking... When I go outside, I don't want to see a big, huge rat dragging a dead person. <laughs> I do. I live in hell. This is a hellscape. You just really want to kill <laughs> hamsters and fucking see dead bodies. Maybe you are If that's cannibal. what you're taking away from this, then yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take it easy. Take it easy. Yeah, they are getting crazy. They are, no, but like when I see a rat, I'm like, I want to see how big the one... Like, I, I, when, I, when I hear a rat... When I'm walking, mm-hmm. I, I'm kind of hoping to see a really big one. You know what I think? <laughs> if 200 years of Manhattan's not underwater, rats will be the size of dogs. Yeah, I think that they're getting to their size of cats at the very least right now. Yeah, a small sh- uh, like a small cat. It's fuck like no. I'm you, not saying kitten. A small cat. Like a cat. Yeah. I don't I'm, like I've seen a cat rat. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. It reminds me of what Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. That big rat guy. Sensei. Oh, I never watched it. Oh, I love that. Megan Fox is in it. No. Don't say you look like Megan Fox right now. I love Megan Fox. So. <laughs> All right, guys, quick commercial break. So this is our flashback moment brought to you by Body Armor. And uh, we've had a lot of flashbacks this weekend. Uh, Grace, I made a video of me and my Uber and the <laughs> Uber was gone. And the whole internet thought that I had gotten trafficked. I know. 
and I didn't update anyone. So at all, we went uh, we went in the car and everyone got out to pee and I'm chilling. It's just me and the Uber. I didn't have to pee. And he looks at me, goes, you seem super chill. Can I get out too? <laughs> I was like, sure. And then I just see him walking away into the hotel. I'm like, OK, this is crazy. I could totally steal the whip. But I made a video doing it and everyone was like, oh, my God, he's going to get people to come get you. I'm like, no, it's not like that. Oh. Um, so flashback moment of that. I got. um all my followers um, panties in a wad mm -hmm. and I want to apologize for that yeah. so after that night I had a little bit of the scaries a lot of bit of the scaries mm -hmm. called you into reinforcement and mm -hmm. I asked you to bring the flash IV and guess what I brought flash IV you right brought the over flash one IV. in one hand one on the other one for me one for you babe yes so flash IV provides the rehydration your body needs whether you're feeling under the weather whether people think you got kidnapped from an uber driver mm -hmm. or whether you just did an intense workout you're recovering from a long weekend body armor flash IV helps you bring back uh, what you need so head on over to body armor store or Amazon to get yours today you can head to Body Armor Store or Amazon. Get yours today. Make sure to check it out. <laughs> you know what sucks? Sorry, back on the Love is Blind stuff, though. Uh, what Taylor Swift boyfriend name? I always get them mixed up. Travis Kelsey. Mm -hmm. Not Jason. Jason retired. I just had to say that out loud so I can remember. Okay. Travis Kelsey says shit on <laughs> the girl that said she looks like Megan Fox from fucking uh, Love is Blind. And I'm just like, whoa. I feel like those are the guys, especially because we do the same thing where we say stuff and we don't realize that people see it in it's real life. Yeah. I don't think he realizes how humongo he is. Yeah. And like that that's like Taylor Swift's boyfriend now. Mm -hmm. And now it's like going to somehow be spinned on Taylor Swift that like she's a hater of Love is Blind. Dude, they, they're on vacation. They're going to be fine. Yeah, you said that she was screaming at him the way the post posted it they, yeah drama they no they no they wrote that they were really enjoying their time on vacation i'm, I'm looking at the picture saying she's screaming at him for calling that megan fox bitch crazy <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's what that fight was about that's why they had to run away i didn't even know they went on the bahamas trip they were just they're just out there they can go on vacation the any day no but they're busy True. She's busy. She's wicked busy. He's a this season's, season's over. Him. He's just out there party and retail. Dude, that's why I got a I got a data football. I want to so know. Bad. I, I got a data football player, bro. Oh, why? Because they can they have off season. Yeah. Plus, also when it's on season, it's so lit. That's fun. That's like the one sport I can get lit for. Yeah, that's fun. I wonder if uh, Travis and Barry are boys. I wonder. If, I wonder. I actually I don't know if I could see them interacting. I feel like Barry is a silly goose. Oh, he can't outgrow being a silly little Irish boy. He's he is so giddy and it's and it's refreshing. In the best way. Because like everybody takes everything for granted. He's still out here posting pictures of his dinner steak saying, This is lit. No, <laughs> he is posting a steak. He posts like these crazy like Tumblr pics. Oh dude, he cracks me up. Oh, he's so good. And Travis is just out here like I'm dating Taylor Swift. Speaking of dating, I totally forgot to mention I went on a blind date. Oh my god. Last week. Are we allowed to talk about it? Um partially okay um i went on street hearts where mm -hmm. you're blindfolded and um basically i they reached out to me to do it and um I, I i said yes of course and i forgot what i was signing up for can you explain what the show is the show is like sometimes they make you wear a blindfold sometimes they don't but you're meeting outside on the street you're meeting up with a stranger to have a date and it's being mediated by tiff and um, Tiff is the host. Yes. And um, I just like totally forgot what like I showed up in like a uh, in sweatpants. Okay. As, as I do, I guess. <laughs> um, and I just totally forgot what I was doing. And she's asking me questions like, "What what's your type?" Blah blah blah. I'm like, I I prefer. I, I don't want to give it all away. Mm -hmm. But then um, the blindfold goes on, and, and I, you guys are both blindfolded. Mm -hmm, and I went into just sheer panic mode. And I was like, uh, regardless of how this is going to go, I'm going to do jokes. Yeah. And this has now become a joke fest. Mm -hmm. Because I, what am I going to be, vulnerable on camera? That's ridiculous. Yeah, That's what the scary fuck? as heck. Hell no. No, thank you. So, you know, a lot of these people, they end up kissing at the end. No, on camera? Mm -hmm. I could never. Mm -mm. That's what we were saying on Love is Blind. We can't, be we can't believe they're flirting and kissing on camera. Oh. That's my literal nightmare, being caught kissing in 4K. Do you know, I literally, I get war, like, on Sunday I was having war flashbacks because I was being flirting. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I flirted. Gross. Ugh, disgusting. What is it? Why are we, why are we calculated like that? I don't know. Or wired like that? I just, I just wish I could be a, a lovey-dovey love bird <laughs> <laughs> i just i can but not i not for the cameras is absolutely incredibly insane to me personally and props and kudos to these people i know seriously really put life on the line yeah and just like be like oh there's no cameras here i'm just doing it. i'm going on a date mm. 
So you saw it as, oh my God, I'm on camera. I must uh, uh, conform to jokes. Yes. Yeah, which is fair. Regardless of how it was going to go, but mm. you'll see. <laughs> yeah. It ends in the most hilarious, beautiful way. <laughs> I can't, we're not wait to watch it. I'm just, been, like, every day I'm like, oh, my God, are we going to get the edit? Are we going to get the edit? <laughs> it's so crazy. So, okay, going on a blind date, I guess you have kind of gone on blind dates. Like, not blind dates, but you've, like, talked to people on, on like, dating apps and then met, met them out. But this yeah. was, like, a literal blind date. Literal blind. Would you, like, say someone set you up on a regular blind date where you're not on camera? I'd prefer that, I think. You, like, you would do that? I think so, yeah. Where it's just, like... I, like, if somebody is saying, dude, you should meet my friend, like... But, like, it's impossible to do a blind date nowadays because you can Social check their media. Instagram before you go. I know. I like the idea of a blind date. Yeah. And it's it gives you a lot to talk about on a yeah. date because you literally have n- no, nothing about each other. Yes. Plus, also, like, if it, usually a blind date is set up by a friend. So by it's like, mutual, oh, my God, yeah. dude, like, you would love my friend, blah, blah, blah. Matchmaker, yeah. 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 And if, if somebody is doing that, then, like, obviously you're probably going to have something in common. Yeah. Oh, blind dates are actually a pretty good idea. Yeah. They're great. Okay, if anyone wants to go on a blind date with Grace, message me and I'll see if you're a good fit. Hurry up. And then, <laughs> could I start setting up blind dates for you? Yes. Okay, let's put this out there. Oh my God, this is what I've been needing. Yeah, okay, so Grace, th- we want to do legit blind dates for Grace mm-hmm. where it's like, don't DM her, don't like, I'm not even going to tell her. I'm, all I'm going to tell is your first name before. DM me if you want to go on a <laughs> date with Grace. <laughs> I'll vet you out if I think you're good enough for her and that you guys would be a match. We'll set up a blind date. Okay, perfect. And then you'll just fire them off. All right. And blind dates are fun because you guys will have literally everything and anything to talk about. Booked and busy. Yeah. So let's fucking clip that. Let's get that going. Let's get that blind date master time. Let's do it. That's really... That's fun. Putting yourself out there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but it, and it's good, though, because I can tell if they're going to be creepy or not. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Blind date time activated. And you don't have to wear a blindfold. Oh, huge. That was no really cameras. scary. <laughs> no cameras. No, no cameras. Oh, thank God. And, and then I, we can and report back. About it. Oh. oh. Well, well yeah. we can report back no names. Okay. Right? And yeah. we can just report back how the That's the how best the way to do went. it. Yeah, because no names. Because when I was dating before, I was saying, I, was, I wasn't I was saying names. I, maybe we just don't talk about it. Maybe we could talk about it. We'll see. We'll just talk about we'll if it, it went good or bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, we won't go into detail. It just it really deters a lot of people. Oh, you actually want to know what? Why don't we just say, because everyone that else you went on a date with from like dating apps were like, you can't talk about it. Why don't we just put it out there that, that your job is podcasting mm. and that she will never name you, but you're, she's probably going to talk about her dates. Yeah, there we go, maybe. Right? Well, I guess that works. Yeah, because we're being upfront. Let's just be real here. Let's be honest. Because I have to. I... Everyone talks about their dating life. Why can't she? Yeah, publicly. Why does everyone have to make videos about it, though? But you're not yeah. saying their names. No one's going to know who they are. Nobody's going to know. Everyone does that. Until they know. Yeah. The big reveal. The big reveal. And then maybe we could have a big, awesome reveal. <laughs> right here. They're sitting here with a cloak on and we rip it off. Why are they? No, not a cloak. <laughs> what? An invisible cloak? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> I'm all nervous. It's oh. not even happening yet. <laughs> I'm fidgeting. Oh, my God. Don't be nervous. This is going to be beautiful. Yay. Yay. <laughs> uh, my heart is open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how we're going to end it on a good note of your heart being wide open. Okay. Oh, for blind love. Blind love. Love is blind in real life. Worth no cameras. <sighs> and I don't have to marry them. No, God, that is so fucked. <laughs> That's we good. have our own rules for this, and yes. it's whatever you want. Okay, perfect. I love those rules. <laughs> okay, it's Grace's love is blind for not for long. Magic. Okay, see you guys uh, next week, this <laughs> week. Love you. <laughs>